Welcome to this exciting new video on trigonometry. In this video, we will be exploring the fascinating world of angles and triangles, and how they relate to the trigonometric functions of sine, cosine, and tangent. So, whether you're studying for an exam, looking to expand your knowledge, or just interested in learning more about the fascinating world of trigonometry, this video is for you. So sit back, relax, and get ready to explore the wonderful world of angles and triangles. Trigonometric is a Greek word. It refers triangle plus measure. It is a branch of mathematics concerned with relationship between angels and ratios of lengths. Trigonometric ratios are the ratios between edges of a right triangle. Consider a right triangle ABC. Longest side AC is the hypotenuse. It is opposite to the right angle ABC. An opposite side is the one across from a given angle theta. And adjacent side is next to a given angle. Where all the three ratios are divided by others too. Hypotenuse divided by opposite and adjacent. Opposite divided by hypotenuse and adjacent. Adjacent divided by hypotenuse and opposite. Where those ratios are make the six trigonometric functions. That are sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent. For easy to access, we make them abbreviations. Sine abbreviated as sin. Cosine abbreviated as cos. Tangent abbreviated as tan. Cosecant as cos. But it was already existed for cosine. So it takes ESC. Secant abbreviated as SEC. Cotangent abbreviated as cot. Thus are the six trigonometric functions. Now we move to define those functions by corresponding ratios. In common use, mnemonics is refers to facts and relation in trigonometric. The popular world mnemonics is so ch toa. Where so is show, sin is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Ch is, cos is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. To a show, tan is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Adjacent. This word SOHCHTOE is used to easily memorize the functions. Also, the reciprocal of this ratios are cosecant, secant, cotangent. Reciprocal of sine is cosecant. Reciprocal of cosecant is secant. Reciprocal of tangent is cot. Let me solve a simple problem to understand the working of those functions. Where? The right triangle have 26 meters hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent have 21 and 20 meters. By applying in corresponding formulas, we get divided values. Move the ratios to inverse and get the degree values. Anyways, the theta angle 46.3 degree was founded by using of those any ratios. Thus are the six trigonometric functions. Basic properties of trigonometric functions that they are unitless. They are read and written as sine theta not as sine of theta. In square trigonometric functions are written as sine square theta, not as sine theta whole square. Finally, those functions are properties of the angles not only for the triangles. Thus we understand the futures of the trigonometric ratios and functions. Next we move to Cartesian and its quadrants. In the Cartesian plane, the two axes X and Y are split the plane into four parts, and they are called quadrants. The Y axis upper part is positive, and lower part is negative side. Similarly, the right side of the X axis positive, and left side is negative values. Center is origin, where the origin is represented by an ordered pair of the Cartesian coordinates. For example, Consider the point is in distance 3 on y-axis and also 2 distance on x-axis. The crossing point denoted as 3, 2 is positive, positive coordinator. The point is present in first quadrant. Also the second is negative, positive. The quadrant 3 is negative, negative. The quadrant 4 is positive, negative. In next topic, we learn about the degree and radiance of angles. 
consider a circle, started at zero degree to infinite degrees. In this circle only 360 degree was arranged. After the 360 degree move next angle upon the zero degree also on, where the point 30 degree denote the angle of the 30 degree on the circle to use this, we find the any angle in the circle. For example, consider the any point on the circle that is 180 degree plus 40.5 degree equal to 220.5 degree on the circle. The 0, 90, 180, 270, 360 degrees are common for all. In present world, most of them use the radian to specify the angle sizes. There are unit of measure called radians. How the radians was created. Take the radius length of the circle and wrap around the line on the circle sides. These wrapped length endpoint is connected to the origin point where the angle of measurement was one radiant. Now understand the length of each arc with an angle of one radian is equal to the length of the radius. The radius of the circle is r and the diameter is denoted as 2r, where circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. Here, pi is a constant that is defined as the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, but it is measured approximately 3.14159265359 etc. Hence circumference is 2 pi r. There are 2 pi radians in a circle. So we want the 2 pi radian for create a circle. Now fill the radian on the circle by same radian. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 whole radians and a little more than a quarter of a radian 0 0.2831853 is equal to 6.283 radian. So the 6.283 radian is equal to the 2 pi radian. Hence, the circle is a 2 pi radian. So, the half of the circle is pi radian. Another half is pi and another half is pi divided 2. Similarly, all the radians are generated. Those radians are point that's corresponding degrees. Pythagoras Theorem Pythagorean theorem contained most important role in the trigonometrics. It states that adjacent square plus opposite square is equal to hypotenuse square on the any right angle triangle. For example, consider adjacent is 3 and opposite is 4. Hypotenuse is 5. To solve by this theorem take adjacent 3 square plus opposite 4 square is equal to hypotenuse 5 square. Consider a right angle triangle on unit circle. Where opposite is y, adjacent is x and hypotenuse is 1 in unit circle. It can applicable for Pythagorean theorem that x square plus y square equal to 1. Unit circle. Finally, we will see about unit circle. In unit circle, draw a line to circumference that the line become length by radius 1 on the angle theta. The vertical line on x axis to point is a sign. The horizontal line is represent the cosine. Previously we saw about sine and cosine function through right angle triangle. That the mnemonics is show SOHCHTOA. Sine theta equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Tan theta equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Where the hypotenuse is 1, so. Sine theta equal to opposite. Cos theta equal to adjacent. Here, we understand why sine in opposite and cosine in adjacent. Now about tangent. Tan theta equal to opposite divided by adjacent. We know that sine theta is opposite and cos theta is adjacent. Hence tan theta is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta. Finally, the point on the circle is cos theta comma sine theta coordinate corresponding to the angles. Remember that Pythagorean theorem shows that adjacent square plus opposite square is equal to hypotenuse square. Similarly, cos theta whole square plus sine theta whole square is equal to 1. Here 1 is radius. And when the theta is 90 degree, sine becomes 1, cos is 0 and tan is undefined. When the theta is 0 degree, Cos becomes 1, 
sine and tan is equal to zero. Now, you seeing the movement that how different angles affect sine, cosine, and tangent. In another part of unit circle, we see about some important angles. That's our 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. Note, you should remember sine, cosine, and tangent for the angle 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. These are the values you should remember. But how to remember them? Where remember cos goes. 3, 2, 1. Cos 30 degree equal to root 3 divided by 2. Here 3. Cos 45 degree equal to root 2 divided by 2. Here 2. Cos 60 degree equal to root 1 divided by 2. Here 1. Root 1 is equal to 1 so 1 divided by 2. And sine goes. 1, 2, 3. Sine 30 degree equal to root 1 divided by 2. Here 1. Root 1 is equal to 1 so 1 divided by 2. Sine 45 degree equal to root 2 divided by 2. Here 2. Sine 60 degree equal to root 3 divided by 2. Here 3. Here, just three numbers are enough. 1 divided by 2, root 2 divided by 2, root 3 divided by 2. And about tangent, we know that tan is equal to sine divided by cos. So divide sine, and cos to corresponding tangent degrees for the angle 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. Similarly to the other coordinates, the table was generated for those ratios by the similar method in unit circle. I believe that you will understand this chapter. Any issues comment below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you we will meet in another video.